Hey everybody, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure once again, and I felt like doing another installment of a variety hunt. This time I'm going to be focusing on the 1946 S over D over mint mark. So before I get started on this hunt, I thought I'd point out that I have about 300 and I guess three or four 1946 wheat pennies that I need to separate and pull out all the San Francisco minted ones because I'm going to be focusing on the San Francisco minted ones because we'll be searching for the variety of the 1946 S over D over mint mark. Unlike the other videos where I show you a picture at the end, I felt like showing you one up front. Here's a shot of one, but I've got a close-up version of it right down here, which I'm going to bring up right here. Now, it's going to be harder to hunt for this one because it's not as pronounced. The details are a little bit more shallow, so it's going to make for a fun hunt, but a challenging hunt. The reason why I'm looking for this one today, though, is, you know, it's not a bad price on it. It's a little bit less rare than the 44D over S that I found, but it's still a good one to find. And if I can find one in the better conditions, maybe a VF to EF, we might be able to fetch $50 for one. And who knows? Because there's a few more of these varieties out there, maybe I'll find two in this batch. But we've got to pull out the 46 S's first to see how many I'm really going to be looking through because not all 300 plus of these are from San Francisco. That being said, let me go ahead and get them separated. That'll take some time and I'll bring it back in before I actually start the search. So we've got them sorted. We've only got about 45, 44 I guess, to look at. So, a lot of P&D, which you would imagine where I'm at. I don't see a lot of San Francisco. Matter of fact, I was surprised I almost even got a full roll out of it. I was hoping for at least a full roll, but you know what? We'll take the 44, 45 we got in here, and we'll commence the hunt. As always, if I find anything suspicious or any other kinds of errors, like the BIE or die cuds, things like that, I will loop you guys in for sure. In the meantime, I'm going to get to looking. thought I'd point out that I'll be using my pluggable microscope today. Love this microscope, plugs right in. I can get really close on anything I want to look at. Gives me a chance to zoom in. I can get closer than that, but I mean, if there's going to be a S over D, I'm going to see it with this guy. And uh, just thought I'd point it out to you guys. It always pays to be able to look. Obviously, you can still use a loop, but if you really want to get in, extra close, 250 times versus 10, 15, 20 times, sometimes 30 times like a loop does, you need a microscope. All right, let me get to the hunt. Well, we knew it was gonna be a quick video if I didn't find anything, and with only less than a full roll to look at for the S mint mark, we didn't find anything. Still, I'll post this video because you guys might wanna go through your 46 wheat pennies to look for the S over D over mint mark variety. Like I said earlier, it's not highly valuable, but if you can find one in fine condition or better, it's a $25 find. And who can get mad at making a penny turn into a $25 bill or better? Hopefully you're enjoying these variety hunts with my wheat pennies. If you are, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching.